Hello, I am Pale Akanya Ofori with City News Daily. Our top story, High Court in Winneba nullifies the September 15 branch elections. Organized by lecturers at the University of Education Winneba and orders fresh elections to be conducted within 21 days. Details of that story are coming up. The Winneba High Court in the Central Region today nullify the September 15 branch elections organized by lecturers at the University of Education, Winneba. The court, presided over by his lordship, Justice Kwamana Atum Mills Graves, declared the elections as unconstitutional. The September elections organized by the University Teachers Association of Ghana did not include members of the Asante, Manpon and Kumasi campuses prompting the lawsuit. The court in its ruling today ordered the National UTAC body to organize and supervise fresh elections on all campuses of the university within 21 days. Now the lawyer for the lecturers who filed the lawsuit, Alex Apenyo Markin, says he's happy justice has been served. The Lajokoko Krowa Municipal Assembly has moved in to prevent the closure of the Nungwa Senior High School following the court order because the school lacks adequate toilet facilities. The Municipal Assembly has, in the interim, provided four mobile toilet facilities to be used by the students, while it works at solving the problem permanently. The Municipal Chief Executive for LECMA, Ajele Chum Jamra, says the Assembly will work towards completing the construction of a 24-seater toilet facility which is currently ongoing under the Greater Accra Metropolitan Area Sanitation and Water Project. And if you may be aware, the Commission of Inquiry for the Creation of Regions began its work yesterday at the former seat of government, that's the Osu Castle. Now the public engagement uh, would see petitioners explaining further their demands for new regions to be created out of existing ones. Today, the Joint Consultative Committee on the proposed OT region says the northern part of the OT region has been neglected over the years. This was after they took their turn before the commission. Now, the secretary of the Joint Consultative Committee, Kuku Ada, told pressmen that they can no longer stand the level of neglect. Now, let's bring you up to speed with the political situation in Zimbabwe and the Speaker of Zimbabwe's Parliament, Jacob Mudenda, is expected to later today announce former Vice President Emerson Nangagwa as the interim president. This follows the resignation of Robert Mugabe yesterday. Emerson Nangagwa, who was sacked by Robert Mugabe, is reported to be on his way back to Zimbabwe. Robert Mugabe, 93, ruled the country for 37 years. A day after his resignation, local journalists say Zimbabweans are in a jubilant mood. But there are concerns as to whether Emerson Nangagwa will bring the needed change Zimbabweans are yearning for. And that does it for City News Daily from City TV. My name is Pierre Lacanio. Thanks so much for watching. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy, and fashion. Call us 1243 331 999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.